I decided to get um, whatever this is and uh, I drank a little and I cannot metabolize alcohol very well. And also sometimes my medication makes me forget to eat. And so I'm kind of drinking this on an empty stomach. I think you know what kind of video this is gonna be. Oh, did I introduce myself? I don't know. I guess I'll start over. spirit siblings and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Jen also known as the L mom and today we're gonna do a little bit different of a video why because murder is really fucking depressing and I need a break this was supposed to be sex on the beach but it is not and speaking of that I did try that once and I got sand in, in places where there should not be sand so I have to thank Charlie for suggesting we do a mean comments video. It's actually something I've been looking forward to because I've gotten so many amazing and creative comments since I started this channel. Most of them from Mormons who uh, should all get a job in the PR department of the church because you guys make the church look top notch. So we're gonna read them today. The 144,000 are the 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel that God chooses during the seven years of tribulation to bring multitudes to the Lord. You also curse too much. You have a foul mouth. It's not wrong. It's not Mormons though. It's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Okay, so new game. Every time someone says that, we're gonna take a drink. What a childish, moronic perspective. If there's some way of purging whatever intellect you might have, I would take advantage of it. I don't know why I would want to purge whatever intellect I might have. Wouldn't I want to keep that? I mean, if I purged it and it's intellect, that seems like that's not a very intellectual thing to do. So I will not be taking advantage of it. Thank you for the suggestion though. I don't mind your opinion, but your language ruins your blog. Do you mean blog? By the way, I love the hair. Perfect Relief Society caring cut. First, I think you need to read the Bible. Revelation 12, seven tells of a war in heaven between Archangel Michael, angels, and the dragon, Satan, in parentheses. Second, if it were not for your foul mouth, I may have subscribed because I wanted to hear the content. Hosea 4.2. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds and bloodshed follows bloodshed. Well, I'm not sure what that means, but Jesus is, is kind of fucking scary. Third, your message may be right and good, but your delivery is off-putting. Fourth, the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity, which includes God and the Son in most Christian churches. Well, Susie, in Mormonism, it is called the Godhead and not a Trinity, and it is called the Holy Ghost and not necessarily the Holy Spirit, although they are interchangeable. If you are going to refer to church, gospel, and beliefs, please read the Bible so you know what you are talking about. Noted. Good Lord, please slow your roll and speak only what's important. Loser mom. It actually is kind of funny. Just cut the commentary completely and then this will be interesting. Get a grip, lady. You're disparaging someone's core beliefs. You protest too much. Get alive. You don't sound very happy, happy days. It would be good if you did some therapy before you did YouTube. My therapist's name is Susan. Is she trying to keep me in therapy so she can make more damn money off me? The Egyptologists have been saying Joseph Smith mistranslated the papyri characters because he didn't translate them to what the Egyptologists say they meant, correct? Yes, of course. Though this would have to mean that sacred LDS scripture is supposed to match up with that of Egyptian mythology in order to be seen as translated the right way. Therefore, what does this mean? Egyptologists have been debunked. Google Book of Abraham part one. Why Egyptologists are wrong, YouTube. Then view video number two, Egyptologists back Smith. Two videos clearly debunking the Egyptologists by demonstrating proper interpretation. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what question you had for me because you answered it yourself. How rude you are. Rest in the boys. I wouldn't degrade any other religion, but I guess that's okay for you. The police should have taken Charles seriously. They didn't live the beliefs that they proclaimed to be a part of. Zombies, more than one prophet. I'd like to see you go after the Catholic church. Should they have a criminal case for one of their parishioners, they would never do it. Who, who's they? 
I kind of covered all this, but you just probably watched a minute and stopped at the rest in the boys comment, which I personally think they would find hilarious, but that's just me. Part two, it's rude and disrespectful to any religion. It reflects poorly on you. And leave it up to a Mormon. Oh yeah, because I said leave it up to a Mormon to make a comment like that. Uh, no, it's about expectation. Don't expect from one religion and not from the other. Bottom line is, unless you are standing there throughout any of these facts that you condemn, you can't speak to it. You have no idea of facts. So to call people out is how you got where you are today. You were offended or you didn't bother to find out details or read some history document that you judged without knowing the circumstances. Remember the salamander papers? Everyone thought those were real, but they weren't. If all of us, including myself, would focus on being good people, no matter what belief system, how much better the world will as a direct contributor. I'm stating your claims aren't sufficient proof unless you were in the room. Also, if you haven't removed your records from the church, you're still a member. And it's not my church, it's the Church of Jesus Christ. All right, Nicole, you're a fun gal. They are crazy, but especially Lori. And he proxy work is a choice given to others. I don't get money or heavenly credit. I would like to record your phone calls and put it online and laugh at you. Okay, but I don't think it would be as funny as what I do, just saying. Listening to you, you're like a child away from parents that just love to show your grown up to others with using foul language. It truly make you look like a child using curse words at an early age to feel like an adult, three exclamation points. Try showing some class and can the foul language, dot, dot, dot. Nobody really likes trash mouth people. We like to escape that vile way of speech, not look for it. You might hate all the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, cheers, but that does not make you correct. We still believe everyone has the right to believe in whatever we choose. You are bashing a specific religion which is certainly not very becoming of you. Will you make fun of others as well? There are many. I was hoping for a more mature conversation about Melanie. Sorry, it's not, it's not really my thing. I hope someday you find God again and become a godly woman. You must have had something bad happen to you. The Mormon church is actually the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Hmm. It is actually Christ's church, not Mormons, Joseph Smith's, Moroni's, or anyone else's. They belonged to Christ's church. Okay, Linda, I'm just wondering, if, do I need to find God because I'm an apostate and I no longer believe in the Mormon church? Or do I need to find God because I'm gay? I just, you need to be a little more specific with me. Also, if you're saying that something bad must happen to me to make me gay, I have just one suggestion for you and it's right fucking here. Have a nice day. Sounds like a hate speech. Okay, well. I would disagree with that on legal grounds. Just saying. You know nothing about Mormons. You are cuckoo. You are really dumb. Where did you get your knowledge? You and Lori and Chad. Funny enough, I got it from the Mormon church. I wish you would have not said the Lord's name in vain. Ouch to my ears. Ouch to mine, Jaslyn. Ouch to mine. First red flag. I am his advocate. This chick is cuckoo, man. Joseph only ever claimed to be his prophet. Christ claims to be our advocate. Do I really want to spar with this ex funny LDS? Too many of y'all popping up everywhere trying to make a name off the name Mormon or Joseph Smith. Whatever, I don't think I will. What's the point? Is there anywhere else to listen to this audio without the bad anti-Mormon satire? Love the name. And then, gee, thanks. I found the audio, by the way. It's marked four months old at least. Typical anti-Mormon move, stirring up old stuff for views. It's just like the history of the church. It's really old and well documented. Matter of fact, I picked up volume one at the thrift for a buck yesterday. Y'all just slap fresh paint on it and try to pass it off as a new revelation. I like your name too. L, it's just so appropriate. Teach those kids that their children have a loving heavenly father. You do know that Moroni told Joseph that his name would be had for good and evil. I do actually. In 1823, a young New Yorker named Joseph Smith reported being told that his name should be had for good and evil among all nations, kindreds, and tongues, or that it should be both good and evil spoken of, of among all people. This proved to be true, not only of Joseph Smith, but also the church he organized. We're all just fulfilling prophecy, nothing to see here. Josiah Quincy Jr. was an eloquent man, mannered and serene in appearance. He was a relative of former presidents John Adams and John Quincy Adams, son of a president of Harvard University and would go on to become mayor of Boston in 1845. He penned figures of the past from the leaves of old journals. 
400 pages of what Quincy qualified as impressions made on me by events and persons. In the final chapter, Quincy states, quote, it is by no means improbable that some future textbook will contain a question something like this. What historical American of the 19th century has exerted the most powerful influence upon the destinies of his countrymen? And it is by no means impossible that the answer to that inter interrogatory, 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 I don't know, I'm, I've never used that word. Anyway, may be thus written Joseph Smith, the Mormon prophet. Smithsonian Magazine chose Joseph Smith and Brigham Young as two of the top three American religious figures of all time. In the Smithsonian Magazine Spring 2015 Collector's Edition, 100 Americans were selected and ranked according to their influence in society and culture. Joseph Smith ranked number one, Brigham Young number three, under the religious figures category. Even Bostonian mayors could see the writing on the wall. Every jot, every Tittle shall come to pass and not before. False prophets like Chad and Lori will come and go. By their fruits, ye shall know them. Good luck, Elle. I hope you know you're doing God's work. Thank you, Hi Tacola. I wanted to watch this, but it seems like you're trying too hard to be relevant and to connect with the non-LDS people watching. The opening seemed contrived. I really wanted to hear what you had to say, but it's just too hard where it seems almost like you're acting when you're cussing. Doesn't seem natural and feels like it's pandering. Thank you for the feedback. Not at all interested in an ex-member teaching others about a faith that you clearly have had issues with or you wouldn't be an ex. Chad and Lori's ridiculous assertions have nothing to do with the actual doctrine, except that they can use the familiar jargon with ease. So I'm saying goodbye, 2.30 in dot dot dot, peace. I think you were interested because the video you commented on said ex-Mormon reacts and so you clicked on it and then you watched it till two minutes and 30 seconds and and then you commented so i would say deborah you're being a little dishonest get help i hope you realize that you're listening to someone who has a big axe to grind and as such their thinking is not logical or based on fact carol is very upset with me and made a lot of comments like a lot and so i think we should dedicate the next few minutes to carol and her comments there is something radically wrong with this woman she appears hysterical I had a mentally ill some who was hospitalized by Catholics who thought they were the Virgin Mary too. When people become mentally ill, period, religion often plays a big part, period. This woman also needs help. This channel is not keeping things respectful. I am reading and hearing really terrible lies about my religion on here. I am reporting this channel and hope to take it off the air. It is truly repulsive. This woman is telling you nothing but lies about the LDS church. I am a member of that church and was also a member of Jehovah's Witnesses. Actually, I was raised as a JW. There is a world of difference between both religions. There is something wrong with this woman and her channel. She is on here for one reason, and that is to tear down my religion and just being reported as much. Okay, did you know that your prophet actually said he doesn't want you to use the word LDS either? Like it was Mormon and LDS, so I think you should edit that. My religion is not hokey. I happen to be in a ward in New Haven, Connecticut, where almost everyone is a Yale graduate student. They have great families and wonderful marriages and are perfectly normal in every respect. This woman is teaching absolute lies. She is violating community standards. Okay, <laughs> okay. Nobody gives a shit that you live in a neighborhood where almost everyone is a Yale graduate. Nobody cares, Carol, nobody cares. What a lie. Convert Mormons are every bit the same members of the church. At least half the members of our ward are converse and they're treated every bit the same as those who are pioneer stock. Converse? Shoes? Oh, converts. Converts. There are big differences in these churches. If you are getting your information from this woman who is here for one purpose, and that is to tear down the LDS church, then you are definitely being misled. I, that's cute that you think that I care that much about the LDS church to tear them down. I think they're doing a good job tearing themselves down, actually, with that fraud lawsuit. You checked your tithing receipts lately, by the way. Thanks for the mall. She is a horrible liar about the LDS church. There is something wrong with her. She has an ax to grind and I believe she is violating community standards. We work with all manner churches throughout the world. They are regularly visited by presidents. We work throughout the world helping to erase diseases. What diseases does a Mormon church erase? That's my question. This woman is a liar. As someone who is a member, if you wanna know more about our church, Lori and Chad have been kicked out for false teachings. This woman is doing the same. 
We don't do this to other people's beliefs in this country. It is illegal. And I hope we can sue her for harassment. I am contacting legal department at our church. I hate lies and this is full of them. Okay, well, you can sir me, but you're not gonna get very much. Maybe some converse. There is a great deal on these websites that is not proven fact. Many people are making some positions and then it is carried from one website to another and one YouTube to another. Be careful not to jump to conclusions. Unfortunately, I see many years, including the moderator, doing just that. She has no right to make comparisons with the LDS Church and the teachings of Lori Vallow, who is mentally ill, period. At least four psychologists with their PhD have said that she is mentally ill. <sighs> Seriously mentally ill. Unfortunately, I've met many people like Lori. They suffer greatly believing that they are the Virgin Mary or other deities. She is one of these people, sad to say. I'm sorry you left the church. I hope you find peace. Pro tip, if you wanna make a video claiming to dive into scripture, it's probably a good start to not use the term Mormonism, which reveals absolute ignorance of the official doctrine from step one. I'm saying this as someone raised in the LDS church who left it very young because I don't believe any of it is true. If you want to discuss something as an expert, then go to the official sources to at least learn what the official doctrine is. The LDS church is extremely open to teaching outsiders their beliefs. I've watched a lot of videos discussing this case, and this is the most ignorant take I've seen in regards to discussing official LDS doctrine versus the Daybell's insane beliefs. I don't think Austin reads the description box. Joseph Smith was a lying no LDS member would ever say that, whether trying to lie, troll or not. That should clear up in your mind that accusation and maybe you can step back and look at my criticism objectively. I don't like Islam's beliefs. That said, when making criticisms of Islam, I give Muslim people the basic human decency of allowing them to name their own beliefs. To refuse that basic decency reduces the validity of your message rather than bolstering it. The angry bias holds you back. Okay, Austin's definitely a Mormon. <laughs> He's definitely a practicing Mormon. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is not a cult. The gospel is the same as the ancient church. Okay, I didn't call him a cult, but you said it. So you're talking scripture here? LMAO, you must be reading from the Satanic Bible because whatever you are talking about is far from scripture. Shame on you for even bringing it up. By the way, Einstein, what I said had nothing to do with the church, but your own foul language. Not church, nor scripture. Anyhow, you rant away and you're not very wise at all. You lack wisdom completely. By the way, you are clueless on the church. Just show some class and use decent language is all. Not a big deal. Has nothing to do with church nor other just simple classes all if you have any. If you are a classless joke, Q. Oh, Carol's back. Why don't you ask someone who is a member instead of someone who is not out to disparage my religion? I think she means who is out. <laughs> She is saying absolute lies. Those people, Lori and Chad, preach for no relationship to the church teachings. Chad and others have been excommunicated for their false teachings. Ask a member in good standing if you want the truth. There are also other channels that carry accurate information. This is akin to anti-Semitism and needs to be reported and taken off of YouTube. <laughs> no, no, it's fucking not. The fact that you would compare this to anti-Semitism really shows your intellect and your inability to see the world around you besides the people in your award, including the converse at so-and-so. Lady, you don't know what you are talking about. Ask somebody as a member of the church, you open your mouth and make a fool out of yourself. No period. And that is when Carol got blocked because you don't come on my channel and harass my viewers and subscribers. Instant block. You are promoting the church as a cult referring to a chant. It is a motto, not repeated over and over as in a chant. Well, I think you're the one that's a cult. She's crazy, and Mom L doesn't know much either. Lori's lack of sleep is affecting her. What happened to Mom L? Did someone hurt your feelings? <laughs> no, you, you guys can't hurt my feelings, but uh, I love that you think so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're wrong, STFU. Edited, you're wrong. I guess Ben felt bad about telling me to shut the fuck up. You language and mocking is distracting. I believe these people broke a rule that exists in every church I've ever attended. Well, I don't care about the rest of what you have to say. And that is the first edition of Mean Mormon Comments. I am not saying every one of these commenters is a Mormon. I think you can come to those conclusions by yourself, judging by the number of times you heard Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or similar language.
I'm sure we will have many more. I hope this was enlightening to you. And if you were one of the commenters that provided this comedic relief to me, I want to thank you not only for that, but also for making your church look like shit, which I think is probably the opposite of what you intended to do, but you know, no big whoop. Anyway, thank you for visiting me and remember who you are and what you stand for. And hopefully that's not attacking people for having an opinion that's alternative to yours, especially when it's well-researched and sources are always included in the description box below the video. Thanks so much.